Hey YouTube, today what we're going to be doing is making a jet flyby in the distance right here. Just watch. Did you did you catch that? Uh, right there, it's small, but um, you can make it bigger if you want. But that seemed to be the right scale uh, for this uh, tutorial. I mean, this footage. So let's get started. First things first. I'm just gonna delete this or just turn it into a new comp if I wanted to. Um, there, precompose. Old. Okay. So you can forget about that. All right. We're gonna take our footage, which is this one, and turn it into a composition. So here we go. So it's a long footage, but we have a footage about right here, and we have the we have this thing. I mean, empty uh, space. And uh, what we're gonna do is make a jet from here, go from here to here, and then just get out of the frame. So first things first, uh, we're gonna get the jet this is our jet and we're gonna turn it into a new comp just bring it over and put it over the comp thing and boom there you go new comp then what you're gonna do is uh, mask it out now uh, for the sake of the video I've already masked out the comp so I'm just gonna put that in here put it over here we go oh, wrong comp god damn it okay delete which one was this one alright here we go this is for the sake of the video I've already masked it out so this is our jet now what we want the jet to do is uh, go from here to here but as you can see our video is not still it's um, it's moving so if we just make it go from here to here uh, it will look kind of unnatural because the video is shaky but the jet is flying in a straight line huh that's weird right okay so what we're gonna do about that is motion track the video you can you don't have to you can just use a wiggle on the position but I'm gonna motion track it and um, it's gonna pretty look uh, pretty good so let's turn off our uh, jet and um, come back to this footage go to layer new and make a null object okay put it under everything else and uh, click on your footage th that's this and uh, click track motion we're gonna track anything we can on the farthest distance right uh, so we have this little thing here right here and we're gonna track that okay and we're gonna track it about like up to two seconds that's it so when it comes to two seconds just click pause and we don't need the rest and we're gonna click edit target and we're gonna put select null to and click ok and click apply and ok so our null has the thing right now so now what we're gonna do is get turn on the jet layer and you can make the scale whatever you want so I'm gonna hold down shift to keep the ratio uh, like so if you hold down shift it, it won't do that okay so uh, let's make it bigger this time how about this size huh flies no it doesn't look good let's see this is I think this is the biggest size we can do if you wanted to make it bigger even that looks kinda too big cause well jets aren't that big see this looks like the right size it would be so if it's flying there you know what let's actually make it a little big nope 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 see this is the right size so we're gonna click it here and go about like r right here and uh, we're gonna click P for position and we're gonna come the front frame click the stopwatch button and go to our frame last frame and just drag it over here and we have our thing but wait why did we motion track it huh so what we're gonna do is uh if you don't see this just click this thing and it will change and uh, we're gonna take the parent tool and parent it to the null that makes it motion tracked and boom there you go so now 
we're gonna get the speed right and everything right but before we do that we're gonna have to add some blur now we can't add, we can add motion blur if we wanted to but um, motion blur what that's gonna do is blurs it out a little too much so you can even you can't even see it right so motion blur is not the good idea what we're gonna add is fast blur Oh no, actually directional blur. Just type in blur and go down to directional blur or you can just go from effects blur and sharpen directional blur blah blah blah. So you're gonna drag it into your uh jet comp and uh you're gonna I'm gonna make it like horizontal and blur length and turn it up so that it, you know it's blurry. See? So 45% looks pretty good. It's not too blurry and it's not too sharp. Okay. Now we do have a problem. As you can see, it's going over this over this uh, pillar. That's not supposed to happen. Right? It's also going over this, but uh, that that's not a big deal because you can't really see it that much and it's Okay, so what we're going to do is um go to layer and go to new and make a solid make it black make comp size click OK press T turn down the opacity get the mask tool and uh, mask out this pillar roughly you don't have to be exact Right, we have the pillar. We're like, whoa, what's the reason for that? All right, you're gonna opa turn the opacity back to 100. Now, make sure click this, and so you can see this. And uh, click on Alpha Inverted Mat. What's that gonna do? Is as you can see, if it goes on the mask, it, it doesn't show up. The jet doesn't show up. So, but wait the mask is supposed to be on the pillar so what we're gonna do is go back to our first frame parent the mask to the null boom and it sticks and as you can see it's perfect right now right okay except for it doesn't look really that good I mean uh, it doesn't look like this right it doesn't look like whoa nice color right it doesn't look like that well for what the hell did I just do? Huh. Okay, I did. I fucked my shit up. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was, that, was, that was something weird. I think this is the one. Yep, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I clicked something, apparently. So, um. Oh, God. I gotta parent it again. Here we go. Okay. What was I talking about? Yeah. So, it doesn't look like uh, this. So, to make it look like that, uh, you're gonna need uh, something called uh, Magic Bullet Looks. But if you don't have Magic Bullet Looks, you can just color correct it just like that. But. Do not go ahead and color correct just your this layer and this layer. What, what we want to do is make everything blend together so it looks natural, right? So we're going to go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Okay, this will um, color correct everything beneath it. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and color correct this layer. But uh, I don't have to use color correction. I'm just going to go to uh, effect, magic bullet looks and click edit and we're just gonna select blockbuster and click finished and boom there we go in fact what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, go to our footage layer go to effect you don't have to do this uh, go to click uh, and tint and whoa that's that's why would you do that right turn it to 15% and boom 
it desaturates a bit, gives it a little bit war feel, feel. So you can even turn it up to 43 if you wanted to. Boom, it looks great. Now, um, let's go back to our comp, um, our jet comp, right? Is it flying as fast as it should be or not? Let's, let's ram preview it. Hold on. That's not how f <laughs> that, a jet doesn't f fly that slow. Even if it does, it doesn't look good for movies. So what we're going to do is uh, go down and um, find our position thing. And we're going to bring it in a bit. And what that's going to do is make it just a little faster. We're going to go to keyframe assistant, easy ease out, and easy ease in. And boom, we have it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, and uh, if your film has to, like after the jet's gone, if your camera looks over to that side like mine does, see, the, the jet almost came here. So what we're going to do for that is just cut down. Hold on. So what we're going to do is just make it slower. Make this thing like up to here. Turn this back up all the way. And just turn this down. And up to here. And that will do. So after it's gone out of the frame, it just disappears. So boom, that's our shot. Thank you guys for watching. This has been point uh, ah, this has been HD video tuts. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe for our, for our future tutorials. Um, and you can request any kind of tutorial you want. If you want a UFO, lightsabers, whatever, I will do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is point. I always say my old channel's name. I'm sorry. 8D Video Tuts Peace out